and happy Thursday. It's Mocha Don is right back at you. I am Mocha Don, and today we're going to talk briefly about the internet outage and about some of the other problems we have in our society. The thing that we have going on this morning is apparently the internet uh, was down, and particularly AT and T, I guess, was the worst hit in that uh, millions and millions of people's cell phones weren't working for about the last nine hours. That situation is resolving. You know, complex systems have the same problem, and that's that they're very easy to disrupt. We have a situation now where uh, I'll just share somebody stole my identity back in 2021 and filed for unemployment insurance, which wasn't me. And the IRS was notified in August of 22 by uh, Nevada's Dieter Department. Uh, Department of Economic Training and Rehabilitation or whoever does unemployment here. The IRS is trying to tax me for the $12,500 that this guy received. And so I spent the last two days filling out paperwork and researching what to do about that. And, you know, I suppose I shouldn't be upset it's the IRS, but it's pretty bad. Uh, From my point of view, it's, it's pretty bad. Let's, uh, Take a quick look here. Let's just talk for a minute about government incompetence, because the IRS certainly isn't the be-all, end-all of that. Uh, Just as a heads up, we lost about $3.8 trillion this year in military spending that we're currently not able to track. Oh, yeah, we also have about $5 trillion that we spent during the pandemic that we don't really know where it went. On that note, we have a $30 million F-35 fighter jet that we're actually not able to track right now either. Uh, It got lost. Speaking of missing money, there is this single mother in Alabama who hasn't paid us $2.12. So I'm thinking we send her to jail. (laughs) It's a documentary. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So I guess I shouldn't be the one to complain about the IRS. I don't know. Let's just take a a quick look at what's going on with the internet this morning. All right. So we can go to downdetector.com and I'll just refresh this, see what's changed. And you see this little hump in all the service providers. Those are reports of outages. And, you know, it was across AT&T, Verizon, I guess, Cricket for us old folks. I don't use it. T-Mobile that I do use. You know, all the cellular companies had problems. Looks like uh, cable companies had problems. Even X had some problems. Reddit. You know, we can see when this all happened. We'll look at AT AT&T since that's the one most people are complaining about on the web. And, yeah, you can see uh, this is... uh, Basically, Pacific Standard Time, I believe. No. Uh, Yeah, this is Pacific Standard Time. Starting sometime around midnight-ish, basically, people started to go down. And the reports of people being, of of AT&T being down just accelerated. And, you know, it is what it is. We live in a complicated world. And this is what you're going to get. It's not something I worry about a whole lot. And apparently they're getting it resolved pretty quickly. But, but, but seriously, folks, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not the end of the world if you don't have your cell phone. Maybe I'm different about that. I don't know. But I would think that people would know. There's a lot more in life that's more important. If I couldn't communicate with anybody at all, I would find a way to get to see my grandchildren and spend some time doing that, which I think would be a whole lot more productive. I'm glad that people worry about that stuff instead of something more significant, but uh, it's really time we started paying attention to the things that are going wrong in our society that are so horrible. Let's just, you know, recap what we've seen over the last couple of years in, in places like California, but it's in every big city. It's in Boston and it's in Chicago and New York and Of course, California is the easiest one. It's up and down in California. The whole state has basically turned to hell. Uh, And I think that there's very little we can do about it except to say that if you live in California, you need to figure out how to vote, okay? Voting is important. 
I think tyranny might be coming, but it's not here yet. And your vote still matters. You need to vote. Let's take a quick look at a few things going on in California. That's that new shit that came out that keeps you high for a very long time. It's called this is animal tranquilizer. They're putting into drugs now. If you do too much, drugs in L.A. Your breath, your air, you seen one guy down, thought he was dead. Right. Also known as xylazine is an animal tranquilizer proven deadly for people, and it's making its way across American cities. It's coming more east than it is anywhere else. Worst epidemic that I've seen, heroin epidemic. That was even worse. We had females selling their daughters, people selling their bodies. But now I'm seeing people doing all kinds of crazy movement. Not no drugs causing that. That's just a person that got a mental problem. You can't blame that on no drugs. I think it's a harder drug than crack. They're calling it a zombie drug and a silent killer. Walking around with no shirt on in the middle of winter time. Drugs are getting crazier. They make you go real crazy, real fast. 37, been out here on these streets for almost 30 years. Some people that's homeless go around starting stuff with people. Some robbing, that's some that panhandle, some that abuse drugs. You go to the neighborhoods, our neighborhoods, the ghettos, that's where you see stuff like that. Good luck, man. Thank you. Crime in left-wing areas is now so bad that even CNN has to cover it. So yesterday, CNN senior national correspondent Kyung La reported on crime in San Francisco real ta- retail shops. The report is pretty stunning. G. Greenberg walked into a San Francisco Walgreens when he saw in the frozen food section this. Chains, heavy chains that went from padlock to padlock on both sides of the doors. And this was bizarre, something I'd never seen before. In the 30 minutes we were at this Walgreens, we watched three people, including this man, steal. Did that guy pay? Did that guy pay? He didn't pay. So La said, hit more than a dozen times a day when thieves tried to clean out ice cream and frozen burritos, workers grew so frustrated they resorted to the chains. They were ordered down by corporate because of the negative messaging, but Walgreens isn't the only retailer impact in San Francisco. You have to ask an employee for help. What's happening due to Democrat and leftist policies? They're desperately begging you to come back to their cities. But here's the reality. Giant food president suggests he might shutter stores due to shoplifting surge. That's right. President of giant food, Ira Ira Kress, has lamented the rise of shoplifting and violence, which has put a strain on the company's ability to do business in recent years. Kress said that the chain of over 150 supermarkets in the eastern U.S. will be taking aggressive steps to combat crime. It made it clear that closing stores is the last thing he wants to do. To say theft has risen tenfold in the last five years would not be an understatement, he said in an interview with The Washington Post, noting that violent incidents have also increased exponentially in the same time period. It's bad out there, you know. It's a lot more important than your internet being down, the fact that people are robbing every store in the neighborhood Crime's going to hell. The government is out of control. We're going to talk about tyranny in an upcoming video. But the one thing I can tell you is just cruising through the YouTube shorts, it's incredible how utterly screwed up we've let our society become. And we're going to talk in an upcoming video about what that's all about as well. But I mean, I am at least pleased that with the censorship being slightly relieved from being extremely restrictive to now being only moderately restrictive, at least people can find some humor in it. The governor of California wants to swear in illegal immigrants as police officers. Can you imagine getting pulled over by an illegal alien? Do you have a driver license? No, no, me too. Yeah, <clears throat> California is uh, going to now have illegal aliens as police officers. They're legally not allowed to be in possession of a gun. I think they're exempted while they're on duty, but they'll, they'll be the only unarmed police officers off duty. It's great, given that California is not letting their citizens be armed either. I'll leave you, I'll leave you with this one thought that I think is important, because there is hope at the end of this tunnel. And it is something, there is some chance for us to recover from this. And it's because of the wisdom of our founding fathers and how they set this country up. And uh, I'll just I'll just leave you with this thought. When the Constitution was adopted, they weren't worried about the British coming over again. They, they, all these checks and balances, the separation of powers, 
the two layer federalism, the, the, the central government and then all the state governments. And then at the national government, you had the legislative and the executive and the judicial. And then the legislative is broken up into two houses. It's a bicameral system. They're spreading the power as thinly as they can. And they're they're doing it not because the British might come over and become tyrannical again. They did all this because they knew that the Americans could become tyrannical again. And this is why and we I, are. I, this is one of my favorite pet peeve arguments. And some conservatives in recent last decade or so have wanted to emphasize American exceptionalism. And they, then they talk about American exceptionalism. But the founders recognized that Americans were not exceptional at all. And that's exceptional. Yep, it is. They knew what was going to happen. It's happening and it's been happening for a while. Like I said, upcoming video, we're going to talk about that. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Without your help to grow the channel, we won't be able to keep getting our message out. Hopefully we'll be able to do a live stream and uh, take some of your questions. But thank you so much again, and God bless.